close your eyes. Do you dream of me? No one understands the lonely perfection of my dreams. Yo, what's up and welcome back. Before we get into today's video, just a quick announcement. Toronto and Winnipeg tickets are on sale for our live Comedy Magic podcast. You guys wanna check that out? I left the link below. Hopefully we can make it to a city near you in Canada for now. No tour dates available for the United States until I get a visa to go work down there. But for now, if you wanna come check us out in Toronto and Winnipeg, check the link. Today we're looking at this puzzle. This is a really good looking 3D printed puzzle. Something happened. I bought this at an auction and it wasn't actually from the creator. So he did send me an email. Originally, this is supposed to be from Flar Puzzles uh, by a gentleman by the name of Ralph Hansen. And Ralph does these beautiful 3D printings. And um, this one, however, was printed by another person and then resold, which was kind of like against what he wanted. He didn't want anybody, he, he sells basically the plans for these, uh, but he asked people not to resell them. And the person did it anyways. And uh, so he gave him that exception, not knowing that it would end up on my channel. So according to Ralph, normally a 3D printing would be a lot better. However, this looks fine to me and it looks pretty good. So I just had to let you know that little disclaimer, he does indeed sell these uh, finished. They sell for about 350 pounds, uh, which is about 500 bucks. Uh, well worth it because it's a nice puzzle box, uh, nice and solid 3D printing. Uh, so without any further ado, leave a like, subscribe, and let's start solving the steam turbine puzzle. All right, uh, let's have a little in-depth look at what we're looking at. So the top part here has a dial. We also have numbers. Beside those numbers, we have tiny symbols. Uh, there's a little nut symbol there, uh, like a cog wheel over here. Another cog wheel, numbers, um, a wrench, an arrow. All right, on this side, this is looks like the back of it. There's like a handle here. Maybe this comes out. It doesn't really move. And there's something on the inside that turns, almost like a some type of turbine. Over on this side, we have all these holes, small ones, bigger ones, and these pipes that don't really move that are kind of scattered around. Here we've got the cogs. We've got this here which moves a little bit another little hole here these cogs are blocked i'm guessing we'll need some type of tool maybe to undo this yeah this isn't really and over here finally we have these valves and the valves again we're seeing oh we, we're seeing this middle drawer here but we also have these symbols which appeared on the top as well on these valves they have tiny little uh notches which i guess we got to put them in the right direction so my first guess is, all right, six, two, three, eight, one, five, four, seven. So we got numbers there. Something with this and this. Nothing, I mean, there's things on the inside, but nothing seems to be rattling around, which is always a good sign. <laughs> okay. Oh, this whole top part as well jiggles. So. All right, we have the symbols and we have numbers. We have eight of those and on the bottom here. Oh wait, there's a button. And the button doesn't do anything just yet. No. Okay. Worth a shot. So we don't know where to start, but I'm guessing this is, this looks like a good place to begin. So we have different symbols here. Okay. It, it's kind of hard to see, but the numbers are under the wheel. Right, so they're like even hard to see with my eyes here. We have one, three, five, seven. So one, three, five, seven, and then we have these cogs. Here's a single cog, here are multiple cogs. This one doesn't have a symbol at all, or maybe it's hidden. All of these have symbols except for this one. Okay, hold on. Okay, so next to the four, we have the wrench. Is there a number four, five, seven, one, three, five, there is no number four. Oh, there's a seven here, and that's, I guess, to the right of the wrench. So maybe we'll try that. Wrench, and we'll go seven, which is here. Okay, so if the right of the wrench is seven, 
I don't know what's four. To the right of the cog is five, the single cog. We have one, three, five. Five does exist, it's right there. Um, next to the one, we don't know. To the right of the multi-cogs, we have eight. And there is no eight. All right, well, that's, that stops us in the tracks right there. What's that little symbol? There is, there are two dials here as well. I just noticed right here, here, and here. Oh, maybe I have to connect them. Ah, see the dials line up with numbers and symbols. So let's say this one has to be three. The wrench, do we have a three? I believe we do. Yep, three, right there. Boom, great. Seven is the cogs. Do we have a seven on the cogs? We do, okay, we're getting somewhere. Seven is there. The bolt is eight, bolt is eight. Not sure I understand. Is this should give me proper outcome here. Wrench is three. Oh, I guess two would be there between the one and the three. Okay, this is starting to make sense. The bolt is eight. Aha! Oh, there's something in here. Whew. We have our first tool. Let's go. It's a neat little hiding place for a tool right there. Guessing the tool goes on here. Too big for that. Oh. There's a, there's one in there that potentially could fit. Even that looks too big for that. Though. Meant for that? Because it doesn't fit. I'm guessing no. Aha. Am I cheating? Am I allowed doing this? Because that pin's coming out right now. This doesn't fit on there. Does this come out more? Oh, it does. I gotta pull it up. Hope I don't break it. Wait, I can just hold this actually. It'll be a lot easier. There we go. This is coming out. My guess is I'm gonna use this in one of these holes here. Oh, I gotta screw it into every single one. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Hold on a second. Oh, there's more places for this to go. This could also go in here. And it could also go in here. And it could also go in here. Okay, where do we place it? I think, I think I'm going to go for here just because it looks like the simplest outcome. So we'll start with that. Oh, reaching the end. And I'm at the end. All right, that did nothing. A lot of time wasted just uh, screwing in the uh, the bolt here. I guess there's gonna be a lot of that. So, one down. I guess we can try these out. Okay, that's the end of that one. Is it doing anything? Okay. This says 10S1. What does that mean? 10S1. This one. And then we gotta try all these, I guess, if that doesn't work. Okay, I've reached the end. Oh, this is now undone, thanks to this. Very cool. What does that uh, do? Oh, there's also here. Oh. There's also that little, sli little slidey thing here. Didn't notice that before. I don't know if that just appeared, but. So this can move out of the way. Oh, okay. So if you move that out of the way, it provides another one of these and also shows you another hole. That's cool. All right, I'm getting excited. This is cool. This is starting to, uh, starting to be quite enjoyable. All right, I, I, my guess is here and that'll unlock the, this one. Hopefully this one starts coming up. No. Well, that didn't work for now, so let's get rid of that. This, however, just discovered there's another hole here. And that pulls out. Oop. My bolt. My only tool. Or not my only tool, but... Wait. Wait, where the heck did that come from? Oh, it fell out? Where did it fall out of? Here? Ah, I thought that was the one I stuck in. All right, so we can... I can screw this one in, right? All right, that's in all the way. My guess is now that I gotta like, oh, yep, yeah, there's a maze in here. 
How cool! And the maze provides another key. Okay, I'm starting to understand what's gonna happen. We're gonna put all four keys on the top here, I guess. That is so cool. Oh, there's a little magnet in there. A little bead. Wait. Uh-oh. What do we do with this bead? What do we do with the bead? I mean, my guess is it's gonna go into one of these things. Let's get this back. We are now left with three screws. I guess we're missing one more screw to have this completed. I like the concept of uh, putting the bolts in and it pushing other mechanisms. Okay, done that one. We haven't done this one, or have we? Yeah, no, I don't know. Uh-oh. Okay, it's, oh, there it is. I don't know quite what to do with these. That haven't really provided anything was this here. And, oh, maybe this. Nope. So I put this in the top. And it came out the middle. If I put this here, it came out there. So if I put it in the middle, no, it comes up in the middle. If I put it in the bottom. Well, she is now trapped in there. Hmm. All right, so not sure what to make of the beads. Uh, is that the only thing we got left? Yeah, I think we've done, I think we've done every side except for the beads. So the bottom, the bottom one here is the only one it seems to really do anything to. I'm gonna keep my finger on there. Just kind of pressing that bottom. Hopefully get it into a spot where it like pushes a button or a mechanism. It's really hard to see anything in here. Oh, I know I gotta trap it somehow. Cause this, the this is the only part that, that is actually moving. So I know that that ball needs to stop somewhere, push a lever between whatever this is pushing. I just, I'm going in blindly here. Wonder if these pipes have anything to do with anything. Okay, it's right there and it's got to drop down. Okay. So it's on this upper layer here. There's like three layers and it's on this upper layer. So I got to get it down to the middle layer where that button is, I'm sure. It's right there and there's like this lip here and then it goes onto this layer, but this layer is where I need to get it to. Oh. Got it. Let's go, the final bolt. That's really cool. I actually don't enjoy maze puzzles that much, but as soon as you see, uh, start seeing the bearing, then it becomes a little bit more uh, enjoyable. So we've got the fourth bolt. I think we know what to do here, folks. The moment of truth has arrived. We got one. I guess we go all the way. If only I had a wrench. Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Chris, use a wrench. It doesn't fit, dude. It's too big. Not sure what that wrench is for. I don't know how far these screws have to go in. Aha! Oh, cool. Really cool mechanism here. Made in Scotland, look at that. Really cool mechanism as you screw the bolts. Uh, you can see this one here. These will retract and extend and it's all self-contained in this little compartment here, which, you know, really feels like a safe. Super dope. Love that. And we win our prize. What could it be? What could it be? Oh, cool. Oh! Steam Turbine Master. It's got my logo on it. How... So I was not expecting that. This is pretty heavy too. What is this made of? Resin? That's very heavy. 
Steam Turbine Master. I absolutely love it. Amazing. Love me a prize, dude. Like, people underestimate what a good prize is. I'm going to leave that in there, though, for the next person. But that is really cool. Getting it back together might prove to be a little trickier. Let me just line everything up here. I suppose that doesn't matter how it goes. I'm just using my key here, but it seems to work just fine. And now that is completely retracted in, and we are finished, ladies and gentlemen. That was outstanding. Thank you so much. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is the steam turbine puzzle solved. It was a lot of fun. A total solve time of about an hour, including uh, putting it back together. I think solving it took about half an hour to 40 minutes, and putting it back together maybe another 20 minutes. Uh, so just shy of an hour probably, but a lot of fun. I did enjoy uh, every aspect of it, especially the hidden mechanisms that work with the bolts. So when you turn the bolts into certain things, they make things happen and those things aren't apparent. And I think that is really clever. Uh, the one thing is that little bead that annoyed me because I'm just, I just don't like doing things blindly. Uh, but we ended up figuring it out because there is this little trap in the bottom and you can, you can sort of see a little bit of what's going on. So that did help me a lot. So. I give this puzzle like a difficulty rating of about like a six or seven maybe, uh, but a fun rating of about nine or 10. I thought this was a lot of fun. Um, let me know what you guys thought in the comments. We'll see you on the next video. Peace.